What's up YouTube? How you doing? I'm back with another gaming video. This time around it's for the Sega Genesis 2 system itself. Uh, have you ever had a Genesis 2 that you bought or you've had in storage for a while and the, kind of the reset button kind of conks out on you and it doesn't work or it's hard to press and you can to get it to reset which in this case doesn't seem to be working at all. Well I got a little trick here I'll show you kind of to get it to working again and um, kind of a little uh, life hack so to speak but <laughs> anyway I'll show you how to get that working I will uh, bring this to the table and kind of show you how to do it all right everybody um, what I went and did already is I took the liberty off camera as taking the uh, there's four screws in the corner each corner of this Genesis it's they are um, Phillips screws so I went ahead and took those out so we'll go ahead and take this off this top cover off not too hard to do get a good grip on it but uh, yeah pretty much you can tell this this system is well worn so I'll I'll do some cleaning on it um, at, off camera but uh, what you want to do all right, you see the buttons here. You got your power button right here and then your reset button right here. What you want to do is turn this over and you can sit here and there's like these little tabs on the sides. Just squeeze those tabs ever so slightly here and you can pull, you can actually push this Genesis reset button out actually. You might want to get a screwdriver because you get this little this little hole part and just like push it down once you get the uh, tabs untabbed just push it like I said push the tabs in and then push it down and you've got the uh, Genesis reset button oh disclaimer please uh, sorry I apologize but do this at your own risk um, I'm just showing you a cool way that I figured out how to um, get my reset working on my Sega Genesis 2 model 2 so I'm just saying um, here's my way of doing it so just kind of showing you right now so anyway you'll need a paper clip like this right here a little ordinary paper clip you want to go ahead and kind of straighten it out as much as possible kind of have it like pretty straight try to as much as as you can you know don't have to be perfect but just try to get it as straight as possible all right, what you want to do is put it in the there's the hole on the end there of this uh, reset button you see the reset button right there so on the there's a little hole at the end of it you want to stick that down in there as far as possible until you can't anymore and then I'll show you a little something real quick I've already did this with one Genesis 2 uh, button you see how that's sticking out like right so I would say like a millimeter or two something like that um, see it's sticking out so what you want to do if you got if you want to take a little marker or something and kind of mark uh, where you need to go just kind of mark it a little bit make sure it's all the way in there we're right about there like I said maybe a couple of millimeters let's get that marked or if you can remember to do it you can where to go uh, all right now what you want to do pull that out and start bending it just bend it where you had it marked right there you see that little mark I got it's probably tough to see but uh, I've got a little mark there so I'm gonna go ahead and bend this and the reason I'm bending it is so it'll fit in there snug and it won't uh, fall out so I'm gonna do that. Sorry, I'll do it on camera here. So I got kind of kind of snug. You want to get some needle nose pliers too, and kind of get it. Try to get it uh, as narrow as possible. Squeeze that together like that. All right. So now you have a nice thin, thick. What well, kind of thick? little uh, piece right there and then what I got what I have right here I've got some of these little uh, <laughs> little clip clipper thing ears whatever you want to call them. 
So I'm going to clip off this. Let me go ahead. All right, well, it just fell off the floor. Let me go get it. <laughs> now, what you want to do is go ahead and stick this in here. The uh, end I cut off, you want to kind of just stick it in there like that as much as possible. If you need to, you need these needle nose pliers to kind of straighten it in there. Get it straight a little bit if you can. All right. Now let's see if I can get this in there. All right. Now I got it in there. What you want to do is just kind of push it on in there as far as you can. And if it's too if it sticks out too far, then all you do is just cut cut the leads, cut it again. Like I said, you want it about sticking out about that much from uh, the reset button. So you see that? That's a little too much. So <laughs> I'll go ahead and take the needle nose pliers and take this out. And go ahead and cut another little part of it off right here. All right, let's see if we can get that working. All right, let's see if I can get that in there. All right. All right. And again, you want to kind of Clip this together as much as possible so it won't be sticking out or nothing. Won't be too big of a, a loop around there. All right. All right, so now. If we got that, it looks about right. Yeah, it looks close, pretty close. So, okay, so what you want to do is turn your Genesis over, kind of make sure your reset button is in there right side up. Just like slide that on there ever so slightly. It should snap back into place. So now you've got a uh, your Genesis button with that uh, little nub on it. So. And you don't have to screw this back in, you know, you can kind of test it out and make sure it works pretty good. If it's too much, then you can always clip the ends of it and make it a little bit shorter. Just make it short enough so it'll make contact with the, uh, with the um, little reset contact at the bottom there. Which is uh, that in there. <laughs> Alright, let's go test this out and see what we got. All right, everybody, the moment of truth. Let's go ahead and hit the power button. Let's see what we got here. Castle of Illusion starring Mickey Mouse. And let me hit the reset button. Let's see if I can get zoom out far enough. And there we go. We have the reset button working, working like a champ. So there you go. Perfect. So that's how you do it right there. Um, that's pretty much my method of uh, fixing the reset button on the uh, Genesis 2. Let's do it again. Whee! <laughs> it's good for X-Men, one of the X-Men games, that you have to use the reset button actually to progress in the game. But, uh, yeah, that's how you do it. That's my method of doing it. And just wanted to show you real quick, let me go back to the uh, table here. Again, just wanted to stress that if if you put the paper clip back into the reset and it's tough to press down on it that means it's too long you need to use like these to cut it make it a little bit shorter because you want it to be about that right there if that will go into focus apologize if i can't get it in focus there um but yeah that right there if you can see it's just got to be about I guess that's about a millimeter or two, but you have to have it enough so it can it'll it'll press down and up because you got that part will make contact 
with the uh, reset contact, the uh, that little uh, rubber part or whatever it is. Uh, but you got to make sure that that um, is the proper length. So right there. But like I said, again, if if you're having trouble pressing down reset on it, you've got this too long and you need to clip it off enough to get it in there snug. And that's the reason I bent it so it, it stays in there pretty snug and tight. And it makes contact. So that's my method of fixing the Sega Genesis Model 2 reset button. But uh, thanks again for joining me and I appreciate it. <laughs> and uh, see you next time.